Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome, sweethearts. I'm Lily. Uh, everything you need to know about me, my channel, my other channel will be in the description box below, personal readings, all of that, okay, on YouTube. So this is going to be a new year, new you reading, what new opportunities are coming into your life, uh, like self-care, what you can do to um, better your life, right? That's the goal. So you guys, tapping into your energy, seriously, it is the most stunning, gorgeous energy I've seen for you, Aries. This is really, really beautiful because I feel like you're embracing this new year, this new you energy, right? And allowing new opportunities to come your way. Like what is meant for you, you are just going for it. And I love to see that. So I was getting um very much like Aquarius. You might want to go watch their reading because you could have a strong Aquarius placement or uh, have an Aquarius coming into your life that's going to be significant. I feel like you guys are releasing toxic like a toxic pattern of behavior or um a karmic um person or situation in your life okay and i feel like you're just focused on whatever makes you happy you're you're gonna call that in you're attracting that um i do see a soulmate coming into your life like this is your person um, it feels like a new person for you um, or just like someone you're friends with, kind of like your last reading that's coming through again. And so say you're in a relationship and you're just not really that happy. And it could be because you're with that person to learn some sort of a lesson. That's when we say karmic. Um, so I feel like you've learned the lesson and you're ready for your forever. <laughs> <laughs> I do see babies in your future if you're still in that stage of life, but I for sure see marriage and living with your divine counterpart, which I'm so happy for you guys. I'm loving this 2024 energy. It's so much better than 2023, okay? So that year was a five year of change and challenges and conflict and all that this is a six things are going to speed up well it's actually an eight you know if you add up all the numbers which is infinity which is strength overcoming obstacles which is fast movement which i love to see okay things are going to speed up so um i just see like your happiness is just literally right around the corner and I was picking up on um shoot I should have wrote this down about this soulmate or this new opportunity I feel like it's coming in between February 18th through March 19th so you might want to uh, write the, that down uh it could be if it's a person could be just in the Pisces or Aquarius season, okay? Aquarius or Pisces season, or they could be one of those signs or have a strong placement. But yeah, let's dive into your cards, you guys. I'm just loving, living for this energy, okay? Soulmate at the bottom of the deck. Great connection and relationships. And if you don't know, I shuffle the cards and put them down and then I look. So I did not look at this at all, but this is definitely your energy that's coming in. So Spirit, what is the overall energy for my beautiful Aries. What's going on here for Aries for 2024? Okay, Ice Queen. Okay, look at this. This is interesting. You could have been dealing with an Ice Queen or King. It's not about gender. It says divorcee, mother, or discernment. Okay, so I feel like you're releasing that energy. Um, this is like winter frozen energy. And it feels like something is heating up, okay? Or we could just roll clarify this one. I don't usually clarify the overall energy, but it could be um, something significant happening in the winter months, possibly with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm really just getting Aquarius season for you here. But let's keep going. What is the future higher self for Aries, please, Spirit? What's the future higher self energy for my Aries for this new year? Happiness! 
Just like I said, you guys, okay. Yes, you're getting your happiness. Happiness is literally right around the corner, honey. Okay, so there's new discoveries that lead to celebrations. Love yourself first. Put yourself first, right? You could have a really big accomplishment. I mean, um, this says A plus on this gal's little girl's test. Um, but I feel like uh, you could be celebrating something getting rewarded or getting acknowledged at work as well. Uh, I just see overall happiness for you this year and it's magnificent. Stay in that energy, my loves. And if you're not there yet, it is coming. You could be stuck in this kind of like bitter or if you're dealing with someone that's kind of icy and cold, they don't have to be a, an air sign, okay? Um, but yeah, balance is at the bottom of the deck. Juggling too many things at once. Find time for yourself. It The focus is on you, which it should be, right? Okay, so what is the self-care card spirit for Aries? 2024 self-care. What is the overall energy? Okay, it says, feel what you feel. You have the right to feel what you feel. But remember that you always have a right to be happy. Yeah. You might be scared to let go, someone go because you don't want to hurt them. Or if it's not someone, it could be a job or situation in your life. But you deserve to be happy. And you're not happy, possibly, okay? So it's time to focus on you and your happiness. Yes, for sure. Let's get a cosmic card. Spirit for my... Be oh, wow. Jeez Louise. Two came out. A little bit of faith goes a long way. Remember that. And it says, you have such a bright light inside. Stop dimming it, right? For sure. You could be dimming it for other people or... Uh, yeah, for other people. It really feels like that. Um, you're a star. Let yourself shine. Let yourself be happy, sugars, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the camera angle so we have more room to play with. And we're going to dive into who's coming into your life, what new opportunities, career and money cards, characteristics of the person, soulmate, that I'm picking up on for you, and um, some more other cards, okay, my love? So I'll see you there. All right, my Aries love. So we ended with your overall energy being ice queen, happiness, feel what you feel. You deserve to feel happy and you have such a bright light inside. Stop dimming it. So um, I was called to look at the bottom of the deck for the ice queen from the deck we got it from and we have home. OK, so you could live with this particular person. Um, it could, for some, be a mother of yours. They could be blonde, even though it shows red hair. It says blonde female. Lighter hair. Um, there could be some sort of gossip uh, with the neighbors, <laughs> particularly if you live with them. Maybe they hear you fighting or something like that. And remember how I said karmic? This is karma. A toxic story. There's new opportunities the door will be opening for you once you let this go, release this energy, right? So there's kind of that storyline. Let's see what's at the bottom of this deck. Devil. Wow. Capricorn energy. So you guys might be ending it here in Capricorn season, which we're in right now. You could feel trapped in this situation, especially if you're married to them. Um, or you need to get a divorce or you're just living together or something like that. We also got the high priestess. Maybe you want to go towards someone that has a more bright spiritual side to them. Uh, perhaps a high priestess, a Pisces, Cancer, Virgo energy. Uh, we've got the magician, Virgo, Gemini again. You're manifesting this. But you see this big sword. It's time to cut what doesn't serve you. Cut out what's not making you happy so this new beginning in love can happen for you, okay? Take that if that resonates, okay? That's what I'm getting for that ice queen here. Um, let's let's dive into this. What you can expect, these new opportunities coming in, love, career, all areas of life for 2024 for my beautiful Aries spirit. What's going on for Aries in 2024? Six of Cups. Okay, so we've got this overall energy with the soulmate. That's the soulmate card, my loves, okay? 
Uh, you may have known this person for a long time. Maybe you grew up with this person. If not, it could be a past life soulmate. It could be a friend. Um, getting that energy of a close bond friendship, perhaps. Music could have some sort of, play some sort of significance in this connection. Um, I, in love, this is a reunion. Life improves. Old friends and family. And in money, this is renewed enthusiasm and improved finances, okay? So there's going to be a lot of improvements in your life in 2024 in love and career okay but i do feel like it's tied to the soulmate so release whatever isn't making you happy okay so this can come in for you beautiful and we're gonna get characteristics of the soulmate okay and, and initials so let's keep going what else is coming towards aries in 2024 that they need to see the hermit they could be a virgo Strong Virgo energy. This is the major arcana for Virgo. So this person is very wise. Um, like I said, they could be quite spiritual. Um, this is someone that may live on their own. This some this someone could be like a teacher or someone that um brings a lot of knowledge in all areas of life. Um, very independent person. Okay. Um, it, they could be uh, an advisor, a counselor, a spiritual advisor of some sort, um, something like this. They give really good advice. Um, you might pay attention to feathers. You could see feathers and that could be a sign this person has a very bright light about them. Deep, wise person here, okay? Tell me more. You might need to go into solitude hermit mode after disconnecting from toxic energies to heal. Um, also about the hermit, they hold the star in their hand, Aquarius energy. Remember how I said Aquarius season is significant? They could have a strong Aquarius placement or have some sort of star quality about them okay let's keep going what else is coming towards aries in 2024 spirit what else is coming towards aries in wow 2024 sorry guys i went flying Ugh. king of swords interesting the queen and king of swords you see how they're not even looking at each other no matter which way you put it like Huh, interesting. You might have a strong air placement or you might just be getting into this like King of Swords energy. Look at the bald eagle. That came out who for Aquarius. Yeah, you guys have very similar energy to Aquarius's reading. Um, This is very intelligent being man or woman. It's not about gender, but this is very strong masculine energy which we hold both masculine and feminine within us. It's not very romantic. This is a very analytical, logical person. This person could be a doctor that came out for Aquarius, an attorney. Um, this person is very sharp, okay? And this person is about communicating the truth. You might be communicating or getting communication from uh, someone like this. Now, this could also be if you're married going through a divorce and this could be your attorney or you're dealing with someone that has a very strong air placement. Um, this is someone that's going to take charge, very direct. I'm trying to think you're Aries. So you're on the cusp of Pisces and earth. Um, I just feel like Aquarius season, something's going down here. We're going to find out, but uh, tell me more for Aries, please. Getting something tied to your career. Um... There could be some sort of promotion, and this could be a boss that's 
communicating this with you. Well, let's keep going. Um, I'm getting a lot of different messages here. Tell me what else, please, Spirit, for Aries for 2024, what they can look forward to. Uh, the world, there's so many cards trying to come out. They're not coming out, though. Um, what else do we have for Aries, please? The Chariot. Gorgeous. Six of Pentacles. It's interesting because you started with the Six of Cups and you're ending with the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Swords. Six, 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 okay? You're moving on from uh, situations that were toxic, were rough, that um, didn't serve your highest good, that weren't, they could have been blocking your blessings financially. Uh, you could have felt really depleted financially, my loves, but have no fear because the chariot is here. Cancerian energy. This is really overcoming the obstacles. This is the divine counterparts riding on the chariot coming together. Um, this is also focusing on yourself, your self-care. And instead, you could have been a person that kind of chased after love and kind of ended up in the wrong situations. Uh, so instead, you're not doing that uh, it's about focusing on you and attracting, right? And in money, don't rush. Just guide in steady ways. So this could be a leadership role that you're moving into. Um, you could also be traveling or getting a new vehicle, perhaps. Uh, but the outcome is very beautiful. It's getting on the same page. Um, and it's happening quicker than you you can believe like uh I feel like your happiness is going to you're going to feel really fulfilled by um cancer leo season okay my loves and it's what it's tied to letting releasing something and let allowing some sort of soulmate energy to come into your life now your soulmate you guys I'm getting could be, like I've said, quite spiritual. And you could be the complete opposite of that. <laughs> and this person could be opening your eyes to this whole new world, right? And it's almost like maybe you hid that side of you, perhaps, okay? Let's get some more decks here. So this deck right here, let's see what this deck has to say. This deck can be kind of... um blunt okay we got trash we got pretending let's see here what's going on we got really good cards in here too but it's pretty blunt deck so tell me what's coming towards my Aries in 2024 children like I said I saw that in your intuitive messages okay this is young childhood playful energy this soulmate in you are gonna make each other feel like kids again you're gonna have so much stinking fun it's very beautiful energy. Someone could be a bit older than the other person, not by much, and doesn't even have to be. But also I see if you're still in this stage of life, you guys having a child or children together, okay? Wow, beautiful. Or blending families if, if you're past that stage or just feeling like kids, right? That's that soulmate fun energy. For Aries Spirit, what do we have for Aries in 2024? What is it bringing in for Aries? Something fell. It didn't flip. Tick tock. Um, it didn't flip, so I'm not going to take it, but Aquarius just had that. What's going on? Please? Oh, there we go. It went flying. <laughs> gossip. No freaking way. Where did we see that gossip card? Yeah. There's some sort of gossip that could could come from neighbors or friends or something here. This is petty jealousy envy. Somebody could be um, that you're releasing, maybe you're releasing multiple people, but anything that's icy or cold and it's not growing and feeding your soul and your happiness, you're releasing and they could be quite jealous and gossiping and envious of all this happiness that's coming into your life. Just ignore it, my loves. Drama queen. Thirsty chasing chaos. Feels like that ice queen or king. Tell me what's going on for Aries, please. Wow, spirit. Let's try that again. It 
hit my hand. <laughs> And I'm going to see what that says. Oh, honey. we Yeah, we got a divorce on the table here. For some of you, I only wanted to get uh, three, but four came out. So we got irreconcilable differences, divorce, and final. Aquarius had that as well. And then we've got receipt. Proof, show me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, if you're in a marriage and you're, not, you're with some partner that you want to leave, it's like you're going to be moving on pretty quickly with this friend soulmate of yours. And uh, it's going to, you're just going to know instantly that this is the person you were supposed to marry. Okay. And um, yeah, <laughs> gorgeous. Okay. Let's keep going here, spirit. So let's get some characteristics of the soulmate, this beautiful soulmate energy for my Aries. Um... And we'll get some initials. What are some characteristics of this soulmate? What are some characteristics of this soulmate, please, Spirit? So many cards are trying to fly out. Characteristics. I just want one at a time, please, Spirit. It didn't flip. What are the characteristics of this soulmate, please? The person Aries intended to be with? Wow. Okay, that went flying, and I, where did it go? Oh no, hold on guys, I don't know where it went, but look. Okay, this is very, very bizarre. Spiritual seeker and musician. Remember how I said music could be significant? You could also get um, messages through music about this person. Um, spiritual seeker, I told you this person is very spiritual. They're very wise. They're in devoted to their inner path. Um, they practice it. They could have a platform like this. Um, they're just really in touch with their spiritual side. They're very evolved, okay? And that could have scared you. Maybe you know this person. Uh, musician. Composer of harmony, creation, passion, soulful sound, and celebration. And um, I'm trying to see where these things Oh, Let's see if I can get them, guys. They're underneath the desk here. It looks like only one. I don't know if there was another one. Um, sorry about that. Uh, a farmer. Cultivation, harvest, and land. Okay, so this person has a very abundant mindset. Uh, they grow. They have a lot of growth coming into their life. They could be an Ursan, Tau Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh... They could also be a farmer of some sort. Uh, let's get one more card, please, Spirit, about this person. Characteristics of this soulmate for Aries, please. Genius. <laughs> They're a freaking genius. Uh, either Capricorn or Aquarius had this. This is someone bearer of gifts. Yeah, they're, they have this gift, very much a spiritual gift. They're extraordinary. They're intelligent. Um, they're, they have this very innovative mind and exceptional ability. So whatever it is they do, it doesn't have to be tied to spiritualism, but it could be like they're very like techy or innovative. They're creative. Um, yeah. Okay. So we already got the letter R G I D M. Okay. S, did I say S? Let's get some initials. Who is this person, Spirit for Aries? Who is this soulmate? Tell me, first middle, last initial, please. Okay, I got way too many, they said. <laughs> let's try that again. <laughs> well, let's just pull a couple at a time, okay. We've got L, first middle, last initial. A. First, middle, last initial. Blank. <laughs> uh, M. First, middle, last initial. L again. No way. L again. I'm not looking, my loves. D. N. A again. A-A, 
AA maybe <laughs> maybe they go to AA um R let's see I feel like I'm talking right about my apologies if I am we just need one more oh okay those are uh some clues of who this person could be nice all right, let's see. What else do we want to get? Let's get money and career cards, okay? Spirit, what are the money and career cards for my beautiful Aries? What do they need to see? Well, that was quick. Blessings. Hallelujah. Unexpected fortune is about to come. This is a great time to enjoy the blessings pouring in. Your finances are doing well at the moment. If they're not, they're about to be. You're getting blessed, guys. Okay, let's get one from this deck. Money and career, please. Well, that was fast. Settling. Your soul is telling you you're on the wrong path. Okay? Allow yourself the time and space to evolve and find the your true path. You're in... This is the most tiniest font ever. Hold up. You're in a state of avoidance because the action needed is too hard. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, if that feels like you, if you feel like you need to talk to someone, don't avoid a situation because it's going to make it worse. Tell me more, Spirit. In money and career, there is a shift coming. If I, oh, did I lose it? I lost it. Okay. Okay shift and your luck will be changing okay good i love to see that taking your career in a totally different direction yeah you are on the wrong path most likely when it comes to your career it's blocking your blessings as well so once you realize that and you take your career in a totally different direction things are going to improve have the courage to change course continue to grow and learn you've reached the end of a end of a route where you cannot continue to traveling okay okay yes okay let's get um an angel number please spirit for my beautiful aries and then we're gonna wrap it up with some advice if you enjoyed any of this my loves please don't forget to like it really helps my channel grow as i'm a new channel and i would love if you haven't subscribed to be a part of our tribe thank you so much for your love and support i love you guys so much okay spirit what is the angel number for my aries please what ain't whoa sorry we'll try to fall off what's the angel number two zero zero two 2002 could have been significant. Wow, this is the void. Longing, technology, ambition, genius. Wow, genius and technology we have. Um, forward thinking, stress, and depression. Okay, this person could actually help you improve your career as well. You have more control over your life than you realize. Learn and execute what interests you. Turn things around. It gets better with time. There are plenty of friends to make. So chill out, have fun, and open up. Go outside. Okay, let's get one more for you. Tell me one more uh, angel number, please, for Aries. What do they need to see for 2024, please, Spirit? Oh, geez, that's a lot of cards. Okay, so one more. One more card, please, Spirit. For, there we go. 1919. Cycles. Okay, it says... Karma, warning, judgment, influence, power, cycles, changes, rebirth. Karma. Remember? We saw karma for sure. I'd mentioned that even in the intuitive messages. Okay. Karma will be paying you a visit. Release the need to control because you cannot force things. Learn your lessons so that they don't repeat in the future. Make some space for new experiences, loves. Okay. I'm just the messenger here, but this is coming out for a reason. Both of these are very similar. So let's get the advice and close out the reading spirit. What's the advice? Thank you. Live your life to its fullest potential. Let go of the need for approval from others. Live up to your own expectations. Yeah, stop dimming your light. And nobody else's. No more selling yourself short. Keep moving forward. You've got this. Exactly. Just like that card. You've got this, loves. Let's get one more for Aries, please, Barrett. Thank you. 
If you are worried you don't have the strength to move on, wow, think of how much strength you are using to hold on. Then redirect that energy and enjoy your life. Let go. You have the strength to let go and move on and live the life your soul intended. You deserve to be happy, Aries. I love you guys so stinking much. If you need to message me, I'm here for you. And I will see you again soon. Bye, my loves.